Yes, no. Oh, I guess I should. But I don't even know what to say. Welcome to Delicious Goods. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What are we making? We are making pickled cup pickled cupcakes. Yum. You sound so thrilled. <laughs> I'm excited, but then I'm scared at the same time. Don't worry, it's gonna be great. We haven't made these. And with me today is our guest star, Trisha. Or also known as Trish. Ah. Ah. Go subscribe to her channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are gonna get started. Trish is gonna read off the recipe. Okay. Alright, so one and a half cup of flour we need. One and a half cups of flour. Yeah, I should probably Good flour. thing we don't have to good thing we don't have to sift this. That would be one cup. One cup. And a half. One and a half cups yep. of flour. Wow, this videoing is jankity, I'm sorry. <laughs> what makes it authentic? Okay. And then we mix that with baking powder, which is one and a half teaspoon. One and a half teaspoons. Now, we don't, I don't have a half a teaspoon for some odd reason. I have no idea where it went. So we're going to do two of these, right? Yep. Look at that. Hold on, huh? Smell the flavor. No. <laughs> You're not supposed to snort it. <laughs> I mean, right. I know we're in college, but still. <laughs> well, you're you're at a college, but still. This is true. Okay. Um, and then the salt. So the salt oh. is half a teaspoon. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna use. Is this okay? Just. It should, should be fine. Salt. <laughs> not sponsored by Great. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna add in the salt. So, in if you wanna, you know, sponsor us, I'm down for it, cause... <laughs> I love pickles. Though, they didn't have, um, the right pickles, so we're actually gonna chop these. Yes, we are. These are mini whole pickles, right? Yes. Okay, so we said to whisk this together, right? Yep. And technically, I mean, we don't know if that's not the right one or not, because they never told us what kind of pickles to use. That is true. Okay. So, so that is whisked. Okay. Now, in a large bowl, cream together butter and sugar. And how much sugar? So, sugar, I think it's, yeah, it's half a cup of sugar. Half a cup? Oh yeah, this butter is kind of soft. Eh? Yeah, let's not take, let's not put paper inside the cupcakes. Well, you know, we could. We could. Half a cup of sugar. Yep. Do you see the butter sliding down? <laughs> uh, Half a cup of sugar. Yep. And then you, it says you cream it together. This is why you soften the butter. <laughs> it's fine. It works. One piece fell on the floor. <laughs> Still lumpy, not creamy. But I mean, it will get creamy. Yep, it. There we go. Should be good, right? Alright, what's next? Um, 
Add the eggs and beat until combined. So add two eggs. And then you might as well get out the sour cream while you're in there because we're going to need sour cream too. Alright. Let me uh... grab the sour cream. What? This, oh. It's on the side of the door, I think. Okay. Yeah, There's this burger up there. Alright. He ate his burger earlier, I thought. Did he not finish it? And I think the one from, uh, Wendy's. Mm. Does it say... You have the eggs in there. I know, but you do this so you don't get shell in the... Do you commonly get shell? In your eggs when you crack them? No, but you can never be too careful. That just looks like another dish for us to have to clean. <laughs> That's why we got a dishwasher. <laughs> okay. Then go ahead and mix that together, beat that together. Now it's good. Think that's good? Yeah. All right. Looks a little lumpy still. You just said it was good. I mean, does it matter if it's lumpy? We're putting we're putting chopped pickles in there. So. <laughs> All right. And now, how much sour cream? Half a cup, right? Uh, I think so. Hold on. Sour cream. Yes, half a cup of sour cream. Oh, and the pickle juice we need to do as well. And um, then how much pickle, evenly. How much pickle juice? Um, pickle juice is like the best part too. Fourth a cup. Fourth of a cup. Mm -hmm. Should I add a little more? I think that's good. I add a little bit more. All right, let's add a little bit more. As we get it on the bowl. There you go. Mmm, delicious. And you said a fourth of a cup of pickle juice? Yeah. yeah let's... This could be fun to try. My hands are slippery because of the buddy. Do you need me to do it? Yep. Let the strong woman do it. Well, I can't do this plus record at the same time, so. <clears throat> so, how are we going to do this? Well, I'll take one and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> like that's going to, like that's going to. It helps loosen up so you can get more juice. Mm. Need more. Oh, I don't want to spill it, though. That's the thing. You can just pour it in there, no? Well, I don't want. Oh, I guess I could. Okay, move. You can do this over the sink. There you go. All right, and right in. Mm hmm. It's very potent. <laughs> Because we're going to do the top pickles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're going to move some stations over here. Always clean, clean as you go, kids. Alright, so how you want the, these pickles chopped? Uh, fourth cup. Right. And then you just put them in chunks, I guess. So we need a fourth of a cup. Mm hmm. My guess is one, maybe two pickles. Probably about two, yeah. Do you want them like very thin? Do you want them? 
No, you want them in chunks. So basically, like. So like. Yeah, and then just cut it up that way. I would just do that. Hmm. You know, yesterday we had fried pickles, right? Mm. Fried pickles was good. Those were freaking delicious. Okay, well that's one cup. Wow. You want you want smaller or you think that's good? Nope. All right. It should be fine now. Okay. Now do we dump them in here and shed the flour? Is that what they said said to do? Or do we wait until it's? Is it them both at the same time? I think. No. So stir in the flour mixture and chop pickles until combined. What was that? Stir in the flour mixture and chopped pickles until combined. So put all the flour in there? Yep. Mm, okay. <laughs> all right. It's unusual, but okay. I right. watch it transform. Like for cupcakes, it needs to be a little more liquidy to dump in. Do you want me to pull up the video? Sure. What did we do? <laughs> we didn't do anything wrong. We followed it. I'm gonna put this away. In to eat. Yeah. Okay. So fourth of a cup. This reminds me of cookie dough. Like that's that's. Oh what yeah, it does kind of look like cookie dough. What that's it? My, yeah. Oh, that might not. This might be too big. I'll just get a regular spoon, which we don't have in there. All right. Get it from the single. Mmm. Good. Or are you questioning, like, mm, don't look right? <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, mm. <laughs> I think we need more pickles. I don't think it's... Do you want to put more chopped in there after we put the batter in there? I think we should because I feel like not each cupcake is not going to get a Enough. pickle. Yeah. At least a pickle inside of it. Because okay. even still, like, I almost had, like, three or four pickles just in this one alone. Oh, really? Yeah. I could be wrong, but... Delicious. Goods. Look at the. <laughs> well, the. Come on, batter. Are you having issues? No, no, not at all. Go ahead. You got it? Go ahead and fix that. Do you have, like, toothpicks or something? Nope. Do we need toothpicks? Well, it'd be easier to move the batter around if we had a toothpick. Oh. You got a fork. I think it's like the fork. Or a knife. Wow, this batter is really thick. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. 
Well, this will just be a funky looking cupcake. It should actually even itself out though when you, right? When it starts to bake, it should start to even itself around though. Yeah. Well, okay. I don't know why I'm using this. It's only supposed to make 12, so you just even it out, I guess, in each. Mm, they kind of smell really good to be honest with you I mean I know you smell the pickle but like does it it smells like a buttery pickle actually you know what here I gotta put more in that one but Every good cook should always taste their batter. Really? Are we sure we want to taste this? If you don't, I, I will. I will taste the batter and see how. I mean, it I'll taste it. it. But I want to taste it before you know. Wait until we get everyone in its place. Is Nathan gonna try these? I don't know. Oh, that's <laughs> that's a big boy. Uh, which one do you think needs a little that more? That one. That one. And probably that one in the corner. So yeah. Let's see if I could. Well, I would say maybe take some of that out because that's gonna be a huge one. And put that like maybe in that one right next to it. <laughs> okay. Here's the ultimate taste test. <laughs> It doesn't taste that bad. No? It, you could taste the pickle, like the pickle isn't as strong as I thought it would be. Really? Yes. But you could definitely taste like the, the butter in there. Maybe because you taste more of the pickle juice than the actual pickle. Go ahead and try it. I think it's actually really good. Like, you get that hint of a pickle. It's not very overpowering. Actually, yeah, that's not that bad. <laughs> it's not bad, actually. Okay, so we're going to pop these in the oven at 350 degrees. And for how long? Like, I Almost guess... to, like, 20 and 25 minutes, right. I think. Usually that's how much cupcakes taste. It's take. Taste? Yeah. They taste, like, 20, 25. Yeah, it says until it comes out clean, about 20, 25 minutes. Okay, we'll do 24. And then let it cool completely. So while we're letting it cool, we'll do the frosting. frosting. Okay, so we'll come back. Yep, we'll come back. We'll see it. All right, let's see. You can see the pickles are in that one. You think they're done? They look done. Yeah? Yep, they are done. All right, now we gotta let these cool. All right, and then we gotta do the uh, frosting, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I really want to try one too. Should we just? We'll see. I okay. mean, we can. We after we frost it, we can stop it, and then I can put my SD card in, and then you and me can try it before we do the white test, <laughs> and I'll just incorporate it in there. <laughs> That's fine. All right. So now the frosting. Do you have your phone? Oh yeah. Grab it. All right, so to make the frosting in a large bowl, beat together butter and cream cheese until light and fluffy. How can we forget the cream cheese? I hope, I bet you the cream cheese needs to be softened too, huh? It's in there, I think it's on the side. Yeah. That's okay. Cream cheese is usually soft anyway. Cream cheese is soft, it's just harder to mix when it's cold, that's the only problem. That's fine. It was eight ounces of cream cheese, yeah. Eight ounces. And butter, which is the half a cup. So this is like a, a cream cheese frosting. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm just going to cut this. Do I need to open it like how I had to open up the pickles? No. No. I'm just... Mm. Are you a fan of cream cheese? I love cream cheese. Do you like cream cheese? I do. Mmm. Then the butter. And I said half a half a cup, right? Yes. Oh, so. so one stick. Awesome. All right, let me get my uh, creaming tools. And how much powdered sugar? I really need to put my um, two cups. Do we just need, do we just need powdered sugar? Powdered or? sugar and then the salt. Yeah. We're supposed to do the bourbon with it too, but we don't like bourbon. No. So we'll just do a pinch of salt. <coughs> That's the frosting okay. does not belong in the sink. I just cleaned. <laughs> it's okay. Well, we're gonna if it's still good, it broke back in. It's fine. Two cups of powdered sugar. sugar. That's always fun to mix. And how much salt? Just a pinch. Powdered sugar should make it sweet, right? Yes, but I'm afraid that it's not going to have any flavor. We can probably put in a dash of vanilla, no? I was thinking that, but do you think... In place of that bourbon? I think vanilla would go good with pickles. <laughs> well, we'll see how it tastes. And if it doesn't taste like anything, we'll add in vanilla. If it tastes fine, then we'll just... Should I do one cup at a time? I think we should do one cup at a time. Yeah, given how it's powdered sugar. It's gonna go up in a cloud of smoke anyways. Looks very creamy. Mm -hmm.
What else is new? that much bourbon in it to begin with, was it? Hey, a little liquid goes a long way. It's only three tablespoons. Well, think of it this way. When you, you make, well... Cream cheese frosting, though, is typically thick, thick. anyways. Well, let's just... Try this one more time. Almost tastes like a, like I'm eating a cheesecake. Yeah. I think it's fine with the powdered sugar. I don't think we need yeah. vanilla. Yeah, I agree. I think we'll be fine. So are we gonna, are we gonna test these out or am I gonna say, the bottom isn't, but the, the top should be okay. The to as long as it, the top's fine to where it doesn't melt it. Do you want to? You want one with a pickle in it? Yeah. Okay. Does that uh, one have a pickle in it? This one does. I don't know if this one does. Oh, do you want to garnish them too with pickles? Um, yeah. Or no? Yeah. Well, then get the pickles. Yeah, I'm gonna do... Bossy! <laughs> I'm gonna do this one because I know this one has pickles. Alright, so we're gonna take... Take a butter knife. And how much frosting do you have? Well, you know, I mean, they're pickle. They're it's frosting, so frosting. It's good at a lot. Now, typically, you would squeeze this out of you know a piping bag, but we're poor and we don't have piping bags. <laughs> Nor do we have Ziploc bags to actually put it in there and you know pour it. And yeah, it's still pretty hot. It's melting, but that's why you. Oh, yeah, Slap Mora! <laughs> really? That could be mine, it's okay. That does not look pretty. <laughs> it's just gonna be eaten. Okay. Now we have to... You want more? How is, how is that frosted? You gotta frost, like, about all the sides. This That'd isn't a pretty. cake. This is not You a gotta cake. make it look pretty. There's a way you can make it look pretty without... Do you want me to do it? Nope. We're good. That's why you never frost cut. That's. This is mine. Mine doesn't have to look pretty. <laughs> that's 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 fine. There I'll frost the rest of them. <laughs> okay, and pickles. We gotta gotta chop these up. We need to do that in slices. Mm -hmm. You can just do it on top of a paper plate. No, it's fine. It's fine. Be fancy. Maybe use a cutting board. So we're going to take pickle. You want them thick, thin? Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's good. Just two? Well, we need it for the other ones, no? Sure. 
This kind of makes me want fried pickles. <laughs> oh, maybe we should do fried pickles. All right, now. Since you, you're a pickle lover. Oh, thanks. It's got Mickey ears. All right, and that is that is good. You want to try yours first? Sure. All right. <laughs> Issues? <laughs> yeah, just a bit. This is why we let them cool. Tastes like cornbread. Does it really? Mm-hmm. Cornbread with pickles. Let's try with some frosting. Now with the frosting I just get a lot of the cream cheese. And yeah. like the the cornbread flavor just kind of eliminates that. So it just it just tastes like cream cheese. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Would you like to try yours? Sure. I mean, it did make you puke, so. I mean, it's not it's not bad. I will say that. It's just you don't it's not a, to me it doesn't seem like a sweet like a like a dessert. To me it doesn't it shouldn't be a dessert. Like, you could literally have this for, like, a side dish, in my opinion. Now, you could have a different opinion. Okay. But for me, I could see this, like, with whatever you have cornbread with. Honestly. Okay. 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 Oh, do you want to take it? Oh, that would be better. Final moments. Got a crunchy piece. Or was that the, oh, that the pickle? That was the pickle on the top. How did you do? Ah! I'm losing my pickle. There you go. How does that taste? Not bad, actually. I just wanted. To... Yeah, there you go. It's okay. We clean the floor later. <laughs> what do you? How how does it taste for you? What do you What do you think? It does taste like cornbread. It just tastes like cornbread with pickles. So do you think is that what they were going for? Maybe. So would you consider this a sweet dessert? Like would you have this for dessert? I mean, the cream cheese makes it really sweet. I think is what does it, is the top part. But even though it's not like sweet sweet right so I would have it for dessert just because of the cream cheese part but you could have it whenever yeah I feel like if you get rid of the cre uh, the frosting you can have these for dinner mm -hmm. you can have these for did you get a pickle how does that taste I because I don't think I got a pickle with mine I've got several pickles in here <laughs> that was a little weird Really? I don't know if he's right there. Is it? It's at least decent. But remember, it's actually really, it's actually pretty good. I would agree. It is good. I'm really surprised. I was scared to try these, but these are actually really good. And remember, this is only a test. You should well, try it at home. Yes, and once you perfect it. Then you'll, you know, it's what I always say. Once you copy a recipe, but make it to your liking, you know? Which is kind of what we did. We didn't put bourbon. It probably would be better with bourbon. You think so? In the frosting. Because then it would taste like a pickle shot, but. All right, and there you have it. So do you have anything to say, Trish? Um, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you all should. 
Uh, make these. Make fried pickles. Make anything pickles, because the pickles are delicious as hell. And that's that. All Why right. are you looking at me like that? <laughs> So if you want to see a video that we did on her channel, you should go check out her channel at Always Trisha. Link, Trisha. In, link in the description below. Otherwise, this is Delicious Goods, and have a wonderful day. Remember to be the best you can be, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!